Skeleton is an amazing and dangerous sport. Athletes, alone on their skeleton sleds, which, by the way, have no steering, rapidly race downhill at speeds of over 140 kilometers per hour or 87 miles per hour, tackling five times the G-forces in winding turns. I'm always amazed when I see how delicate women compete in this truly perilous sport, and today I'll tell you about one. Before we begin, I want to remind you that there are already many interesting videos published on the channel, which are conveniently compiled into a playlist. They say Yulia Kanakina is a mix of fire and ice, and you'll see why shortly. The future celebrity's biography began in 1995 when she was born in Krasnoyarsk on December 11th. From a young age, she dreamed of becoming an actress, practiced ballet, artistic gymnastics, and dreamt of the big stage. When Yulia was a teenager, a coach named Roman Nikonov came to her school, recruiting a team for the Youth Olympic Games. They needed someone who could run fast, and the school teacher pointed to Yulia. The girl hesitated, but decided to give it a try. For a while, Yulia went to a ballet studio after school, and from there, she headed to the training sessions. The choreography didn't help Yulia much, as ballet poses were of no use in this sport, but her excellent coordination and flexibility developed during her training proved to be quite advantageous. Her low body weight was also a problem, as it hindered the athlete from gaining the necessary speed. So, at the beginning, Yulia prayed to get out of this sport while wrapped in thermal wear and a helmet, sliding at 15 kilometers per H on her first track with three turns. But then, she got hooked. In the end, when it was time to make a choice, Yulia chose skeleton. The athlete's major debut came in the qualification for the Youth Olympic Games in 2011. At that time, on November 5th, Kanakina finished 10th out of 11. The best result of the season was the 15th place in a stage of the European Cup in Innsbruck. Not the best result, you might ask, but that was just the beginning. In the 2014 season, Kanakina was four times close to reaching the podium at European Cup stages and once made it to the top 10 at an Intercontinental Cup stage. However, in the Junior World Championship, she finished 16th out of 19. Yulia was puzzled. Did she make the right choice? Should she have chosen ballet? Kanakina believes that the most challenging part is to believe in oneself. But in the end, the athlete managed to do just that and the next season brought her first podium finish, the third place in an Intercontinental Cup stage in Whistler. In the Junior World Championship, Yulia finished sixth, and in her first appearance in the adult category, she came in 22nd. In the 2016 season, two fourth places in Intercontinental Cup stages in Konigsee stood out, and a sixth place finish in the Junior World Championship. In adult tournaments, Kanakena was still far from winning prizes, 12th in the European Championship and 20th in the World Championship. In the pre-Olympic winter of 2017, Yulia started with a third-place finish in a North American Cup stage in Whistler, then finished seventh in a World Cup stage in Altenburg, and finally won the Junior World Championship in Sigulda. The Adult World Championship remained a challenge, and she finished 26th. In 2018, she won a silver medal in the Junior World Championship. In January 2019, she won a bronze medal in a World Cup stage in Altenburg, finishing just 20 seconds behind her friend Elena Nikitina, who took first place. Yulia's main dream was the 2022 Olympics, which she made it to as part of the Russian national team. Although she didn't manage to win a medal at the Games in China, her 11th place was the best among the women in the Russian skeleton team. Despite experts considering her acceleration one of the fastest on the planet, Yulia is convinced that in competitions, it's essential to get into the flow. Even with a very good time, the track gives the impression of slow motion. Every turn is felt. As the athlete herself says, she loves that feeling more than anything else in the world. But, as they say, one does not live by skeleton alone. Alongside the sport, Yulia has gained immense popularity on social media. As you may have already noticed, her photos are very striking. Yulia is called one of the most beautiful athletes in Russia and the most attractive skeleton athlete on the planet. Kanakina gets upset when articles only talk about her appearance and don't mention her achievements. Although she considers herself a shy person, Yulia is not shy about her attractiveness and regularly shares her sizzling photos. Captivating men, many of whom even try to court her. And you could try too, but I hasten to disappoint you as the Russian's heart already belongs to someone. In August 2022, after a long romance, Yulia married another member of the Russian team, bobsledder Mikhail Mordasov. In her free time from training, the athlete enjoys watching figure skaters' performances and dreams of opening an animal shelter to make the world a little kinder. Yulia Kanakina is a bright example of how passion for sports and self-confidence can lead to great achievements. Her story inspires us to believe in ourselves and overcome difficulties on the path to our goals. Don't forget to leave comments like and subscribe to this channel. Here, they talk about sports 24-7.